Oh, I didn't even see y'all there. What it do, baby? What it do? It's your boy, Kwame, and we're in the beautiful Long Island City, Queens, and it's time for another NYCFC Weekly. Let's get it, boy. This week, the action is right here in the world's borough. On Saturday, Nick Cushing's side fought hard to earn a point at Yankee Stadium against Atlanta United. Let's start spreading the news. Last Saturday's match exploded to life after a 60-second minute red card shown to Franco Ibarra for a tough foul on James Sands. A 70th minute header from Yakumakis gave Atlanta a brief lead before Gabriel Pereira replied with a rocket to earn a point. Here's how it went down. And they've come right through the middle with Etienne setting up for Almada. Good save, Etienne's follow-up. Flag up far side. They're trying to bring it away. Oh, and that's a very firm challenge. Ebarra went in there. Well, now, and he is issuing a red card to Ebarra for Almada. On that right foot. Back push, and hit it in! Yakovakis! When, when the clearance came out, it looked as though the ball was going to carry out for a second quarter. Time at the other end. Yes! That didn't last long! Pereira is the superstar for NYCFC! City stage a late push in the closing minutes of this one, but just narrowly missing all three points in the boogie down. Here's what Nick Cushing had to say on it. I thought we started slow and we can be so much better in the start of the game, but we improved throughout the game. We got better with the ball. We created some chances. And, and in the end, we're disappointed that we didn't win the game. I think for us, it's about trying to create more opportunities, especially at home. Like I said, we grew into the game. We, we get into uh, the, the moments that we want to in and around the edge of the 18 yard box, but we have to create more clear chances. We have to be a team that, that runs and attacks space more so that we can disorganize the opponent. And, and that's the, the whole focus of our work this week. It's, it's the, the first repeat of game, so we can watch the first game and we can see where we can improve. We can, we can look at the opponent, looking at performances from this season against ourselves. So it gives us more opportunity to, to prepare against you know, the opponent. But we know every game is individually difficult. We know Nashville are going to be a difficult team. And, we know the moments that we'll come into will reflect our performances of late, but we have to be better in attacking spaces and creating goal chances so that we can, you know, really put the opposition under pressure. We have to be patient with the team because of because it's 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 partly a new team. We have to be patient with the team because it's the start of the season. It takes time to get into rhythm, but also we're really impatient and we want to win football games. And we're working incredibly hard here at the facility to improve on each individual game. Every individual player is pushing hard and, and the collective team has a real desire to win football games, especially at home. So keep supporting us, keep pushing us because we both have you know, that real hunger to win football games and push up the league. Next up for the squad is a rematch with Nashville SC, who the City Boys fell 2-0 on opening day in Music City. It's been an up and down season for the boys from Nashville. While they've kept five clean sheets so far this year, they also failed to score in four of their matches. The home side will be out for revenge after that early season defeat and will look to open up things at City Field with a W. You know the vibes is gonna be high when we play in Queens, y'all. So get your tickets right now on Ticketmaster and if you can't make it, MLS season pass on Apple TV. It's a spot to catch all of our games all season long, especially this one, Saturday at 7.30. Dolly, New York, baby. 